Welcome back, Gengis. The cycle of life and death continues. The world continues to spin into an ever increasing velocity of madness, dystopia, and general pleasantry. Uh, fortunately, we have the gods, the six uh, tech nations, water, fire, air, and wind, to help us navigate these treacherous times. <laughs> and that's currently where we're at. So, yeah. OpenAI just released another banger today. So, uh, ChatGPT is becoming more and more powerful every single day. What's interesting to see is not only the level of uh, output that they're producing, but what's even more impressive is the cadence. You have GPT 3, then ChatGPT 3.5, then 4, 4 plugins. Just pretty crazy. I mean, it wouldn't be crazy to think that even right now they probably have some sort of, some form of 5 already in play or working on. Or honestly, who knows? Every time I think they're done, they continue to create more. And that's pretty epic, no matter which way you cut it. So hats off to them. Uh, if we're hurtling towards a never-ending uh, AI-induced dystopia with death, dread, and general unpleasantness, uh, we might as well pump the gas and accelerate. Right? We might as well accelerate this. So we ain't really doing much anymore. So we might as well, you know, turn it to a thousand and just get there faster. So that's pretty dope to see. And yeah, interestingly enough, the more a open air releases stuff, the more I'm realizing that who knows how much Lico will actually be used in the interviewing method in the future. But needless to say, uh, we must not get distracted. Work must be done regardless. And yeah, we said we'd do all the problems, so we're just going to do it. It is what it is. Even if in a year all software people have been eradicated, and if you uh, all software people have been pretty much made to now work in local Chipotle's and Chick Fil A's and whatnot, hey, Chipotle is actually kind of fire. I worked at Chipotle, so software engineering or Chipotle, I might take Chipotle. So that being the case, that's currently where we're at. We're gonna lock in for another session today. Uh, we were being abused by a problem yesterday, courtesy of the lead code devs. They continue to harass me and my family, but I'm currently getting together some legalese, some legalese to fight back. <clears throat> that being the case, count and say yesterday wasn't too bad, even though the dislike count was pretty crazy. It seemed more like a word problem that was really just hard to read than an actual difficult problem. That being the case, I don't know if it's worth it that we should read the solution we're just going to keep on oh we have a comment we have a comment from dex with a uh relatively ominous profile picture this video was recommended to me thumbs up and heart feels strong and the algo eventually just got to hold out <laughs> uh it's probably cap i don't think we'll ever get picked up but uh maybe we'll stop uploading every day and just do one video a week that would just be super cut nonsense madness of whatever I'm doing during the week. So that could be cool, but we shall definitely see. Open to see some AI video editors soon so that we don't have to keep cutting video. Seems pretty uh, dystopian that we have to cut video. But uh, we have another problem to do today. We have count and say, we have combination sum and combination sum two. So I'm going to lock us in for 25 minutes. Torture. We have combination sum. I didn't get, also didn't get to set up the router yet. So I'm excited about that. Lock things down some more. And burn in some time on Hacker News, especially with the release of pretty much every GPT adjacent release. I end up burning more and more time on Hacker News. But yeah, we have a problem for Air from Airbnb, Google, and Adobe given an array of distinct integers, candidates, and target integer, target, array of distinct, target, Okay, so we have an array of distinct integers. Targets and 
target in target. Turn a list of combinations. All unique combination of candidates where the chosen numbers sum to target. There's another version of this problem. You may return the combinations in any order. The same number may be chosen from candidates an unlimited number of times. Two combinations are unique if the frequency of at least one of the chosen numbers is different. Random number may be chosen from candidates. Unique if the frequency of at least one of the chosen numbers. This is pretty much three sum. I'm getting a three sum, three sum vibe. It's allowed. Or it's not really three sum. A sum vibe with duplicates allowed. Can't do exhaustive because exhaust candidates can be up to 30 numbers wide and uh, do an exhaustive search of every combination. Goes up to 30 would be 30 factorial, simply too large to work with. Can we make this make sense another way? Test cases are generated such that the number of unique combinations that are yet
<clears throat> Test cases are generated such that the number of unique combinations of the target combination sum up the target is less than one. Feels like you could just three. Oh, you don't even have to use, you don't even have to use a minimum number of elements. You just quite literally just need to get to seven. All elements of candidates are distinct. Are the numbers positive only? See, they're greater than or equal to less than or equal to 40. I think we could do this. For example, if we start with target, what we could do, since all the values are positive, we could start. What's the minimum value? What's the max value of target? Target okay, is going to be less than or equal to 40. Okay, that works.
Mm-hmm. Ugh. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, my brain is fried. Given an array of distinct integers, candidates, and a target in target. Ah, oh, tough to focus today. I like him thinking it was a brute force version. Well, how many different ways are th target varies?
Oh. This one is stumping me. We might have to bring this into the GPT boy. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This one has stumped me pretty bad. I know we can do a version with backtracking, but it seems kind of pointless. We have 30 potential choices to choose from. And we would have like 30 factorial operations. It kind of doesn't make any sense. For why we would do that. Maybe we could do backtracking with... Backtracking with optimization, no negative numbers. So if some, if target, if some goes past target, could stop. Help us a lot of cases. Yeah, I don't see why backtracking with optimization couldn't work. And we, I think worst case scenario of this, this would still be worst case scenario. Think about case where target equals 30. Oh. One. This might be able to work. Backtracking with optimization. 
I think we'll stop there for today. Hopefully we'll do better tomorrow.